Sometimes you may be asked questions that refer to a specific element inside a compound. So let's go over an example of how to do that sort of calculation. So we're asked how many oxygen atoms are in 6.15 moles of aluminum sulfate. So oxygen atoms is what we're trying to find and moles of aluminum sulfate is what we know. So a couple of steps. First of all, if you have a compound, you do need to write out the formula. So in this case, aluminum has a charge of 3 plus and sulfate has a charge of 2 minus. So you end up with a formula of Al2 and then in brackets SO4, that's the sulfate, and a 3. So since we're asked about oxygen atoms, we need to be able to count how many oxygen atoms are in this formula. Since you have a 4 on the inside of the bracket, because there are four, sulf uh, 4 oxygens in one sulfate, and then there are 3 sulfates, you just multiply those numbers together. So in that formula, there are a total of 12 oxygen atoms per one molecule of aluminum sulfate. So we're now ready to do our unit analysis. We're going to start with what we know, 6.15 moles of aluminum sulfate. We're going to first convert that to molecules. Technically, that should be formula units because this is an ionic compound, but you'll often hear molecules used instead of formula units, even for ionic compounds. Any conversion involving moles to molecules, we're going to use Avogadro's number. And then to go from molecules to atoms, we use the information we just explained above. Make sure you cancel your units. Here we are. We're going to have 12 oxygen atoms for every one molecule of aluminum sulfate. So there's our setup. Then we're going to go to our calculator. After making sure we correctly cancel units, we're going to enter 6.15 multiplied by 6.02 exponent 23 multiplied by 12. Everything's being multiplied because all of our numbers are on top. We can ignore those ones on the bottom. We get a final answer of 4.44 times 10 to the power of 25. Make sure you put in your correct units, oxygen atoms.